Welcome to the Nevis Newscast for Thursday, March 9th, 2023. I am Fredicia Liburd. A team from the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, paid a courtesy call on Premier of Nevis, the Honorable Mark Brantley, and the Honorable Janelle Nisbet on Thursday, March 9th. The delegation was led by PAHO WHO representative for Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, Dr. Amalia Del Rigo. The Pan American Health Organization has um, a, a long standing uh, policy and mandate uh, given by our member states to uh, facilitate and support countries to advance towards the, the, the important target of universal access to health and universal health coverage and especially uh, in post-pandemic uh, situation that becomes extremely important because as you know the, when there is a higher economic burden, uh, then the social services and health uh, become even more relevant to, to support resilience in the, in the community. So um, uh, we, we uh, I think having um, been here today uh, is, uh, uh, as you mentioned, for us important uh, because we want to see, learn, and appreciate the specific uh, differentiated needs that you have and your population here. Uh, as you know, uh, the, the our slogan now is uh, leaving no one behind. So we want to make sure that even remote and, and, and small populations uh, can have uh, the, the equal access to, to health services and health. The Honorable General Nisbet is the Minister of Health in the Nevis Island Administration. It is a pleasure having you here today on the island of Nevis. We would have met yesterday during a policy discussion on the sink its end, but we are happy that you and your team were able to journey over to Nevis, where you'll be able to get some additional insight of what it is like on the ground here, the uniqueness of Nevis, some of our unique challenges and opportunities as well as get a chance to tour some of our facilities and you know just give us your general feedback and understanding and we can discuss how we can partner more and support each other going forward. Premier Brantley expressed appreciation for PAHO's partnership and assistance over the years. Yeah, PAHO has done excellent work in the region um, particularly during the pandemic I think you held our hands every step of the way and we are grateful, very grateful, for the assistance rendered to us, but also for the opportunity to greet you and to greet you in Nevis, uh, which obviously is a smaller of the two islands. Uh, we are happy that you took the time to come over today to see us and to experience uh, this island and all that we are doing here uh, in ensuring that our healthcare sector is strong and that our people have access and availability of the best available healthcare that we can offer and given our constraints here. And we hope that through familiarization visits such as this, it better equips PAHO uh, to assist us in terms of what we're seeking to achieve for our people. We still have some challenges to be sure. We still have the lingering effects of COVID in terms of our economy. I think the health crisis is perhaps behind us. I hope it's behind us, but certainly we still have uh, much of the economic crisis that remains. So there's a lot of work to be done, but uh, with your partnership and with your assistance, we think we'll get there. So thank you again for coming, and we look forward to fruitful discussions with you this morning. A similar meeting between PAHO's representative and the Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Terence Drew, and Ministry of Health officials was held in St. Kitts on Wednesday, March 8th. The focus of the meeting was transforming the health systems of St. Kitts and Nevis with a focus in health financing. The Bank of Nevis Limited sponsored Inter High Athletic Championship is scheduled to take place this weekend. On Thursday, March 9th, a press conference was held at the Nevis Disaster Management Department. Denrick Liburd of the Bank of Nevis Limited delivered brief remarks. The Bank of Nevis corporate social responsibility is one that is given much ado at the Bank of Nevis. The directors, the staff, we are very serious about our community that we serve. We are, we're not all about making money. And you know, there's a good saying says, the more you give, the more you get back. Mm -hmm. And so we hold true to that vision. 
And so as part of our social responsibility, we, of course, um, found this partnership with the Department of Sports. And uh, I can tell you that the Bank of Nevis will be here for a very long time. So yes, give it up for the Bank of Nevis. <laughs> so I just want to wish the event well. I want you at least to be fierce in rivalry, but always respectful of each other. I want to thank the coaches for the job that they are doing, the organizers, and trust me, I'm looking forward to a great weekend. Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Education and Sports, Kevin Barrett, expressed gratitude to the Bank of Davis Limited for their continued support. He is encouraging persons to support the two-day event. All of what you have seen before is just a little warm-up to what is going to happen weekend. And I could tell you that because I get the sense that each of these two schools, they are going to put their best out. They are going to put on a show that, a uh, show like we have never seen before. And I'm excited. He is also encouraging persons to come out to the parade and opening ceremony on Friday, March 10th at the Cotton Ginnery Mall in Charlestown. The event begins at 2 p.m. I'm hearing that there is supposed to be a, a guest artist, um, one of our local superstars who is supposed to be there. But I am looking forward to um, just having that opening ceremony. Um, it's really geared to drum up some excitement and interest and all of that. And, and I, I would like to say as well that tickets are already on sale. Tickets could be had at the Department of Education at the Gingerland Secondary School, the Charleston Secondary School. And we are going to be selling some tomorrow at the, at the um, opening ceremony and rally as well. So just come on out. We want to, 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 to put on something that is uh, memorable. But we could only do that with the support, if we get the support that we are really looking for. And trust me, if you, if you miss it, you're going to regret it. P.S. Barrett expressed gratitude to the head of the steering committee, Algie Newton and Nicola Frazier, for the work they've been doing in preparation for the hosting of the event. He also expressed thanks to the subcommittees. Also present were Director of Sports, Jamia Claxton, who delivered brief remarks, Chairperson of the Technical Committee, Garfield Virgo, Dijon Leibold of the St. Kitts Nevis Red Cross Society, and a chairperson for the brief ceremony was Terence Warner. The vote of thanks was done by co-chair of the steering committee, Algie Newton. The Department of Education is rolling out its plan to integrate science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM, into the education products offered locally. As part of the rollout, the Department of Education held a STEM symposium to allow stakeholders in education to share their thoughts on the initiative. The goals are to introduce or increase STEM literacy for teachers, students, and educational leaders, support the development of 21st century skills for teachers and students, and enhance STEM proficiency in the community. Now, partnership building, this of course is a major aspect of the plan and, and one of the reasons you are here, recognizing that much of what we do can't go the full length and breadth of the plan unless we partner with um, our business community, our other stakeholders outside of, of education. And so we've begun the process. We've had conversations, in fact, with some of you um, to, to look at how we can partner uh, in different ways to help the process. And over time, we'll be reaching out more and more to um, to you, uh, the business community, the PTA associations, and all of you who are represented here to see how uh, and in what ways we can support the different aspects of STEM. As noted by Education Officer John Williams, the main activities for the school year 2022-2023 are STEM sensitization, improving teaching and learning support, partnership building, and the hosting of STEM Week. Learning extends beyond the classroom. So students, they come to school and learn, but they ultimately leave the, the classrooms and uh, become members of society. Truly, true learning requires connections to the real world. When teachers are teaching certain 
topics or concepts, is there a way that we can have a connection or partnership with um, somebody who is doing it in the real world? And so that the students can really see the transition and see the connection between what they're doing in, in a classroom setting and what, what um, happens every day in, in the workplace. Students, as I said, become employees and members of organizations. And finally, together, we shape what Nevis becomes. So it, it's not possible for us to do it alone. Um, we need to have uh, support. We need to have partnerships. We need to work together to make um, education you know, better than what it is. The STEM Symposium, which was held on March 2nd, can be viewed in its entirety on the Nevis Newscast YouTube channel. The Honorable Cleon Stapleton Simmons recently made a donation to the St. Thomas's Primary School. The occasion marked the celebration of her third anniversary as the parliamentary representative for the St. Thomas's Parish. In a way to give back to this wonderful parish of St. Thomas's and to my alma mater, St. Thomas's Primary School, I am presenting a check of 2,000 Eastern Caribbean dollars to the school. And so I hope that you will use it as a token of goodwill and appreciation to advance your education. Okay, so I wish you all the best. The Honorable Cleon Stapleton Simmons presented the donation to principal of the St. Thomas's Primary School, Nolene Smithen, on Tuesday, March 7th. On behalf of the entire constituency of St. Thomas's, we present you with this token of our appreciation. Thank you very much, Honorable. And we are going to put it to good use. We have many needs here at the school. And this is very, very kind. Thank you so much, and I wish you all the best. Principal of the St. Thomas's Primary School, Nolene Smithen. That's it for this edition of the Nevis Newscast. On behalf of all of us here at the Department of Information, I'm Fredicia Lybird. Thank you for viewing.